the game show for TV addicts, where we give our contestants two minutes to guess the name of a TV show, character, or actor. I am your lovely host, Sam Kalalea, but there are others who are lovelier than I, and they are the contestants. Let's meet them. We've got Kevin first. Hey, Kevin. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you, Sam? I'm doing great. You ready to play some TV I'm trivia? Ready to win. Oh, yes. Confident man. And John is behind me. Hello, John. How are you, man? Hey, Sam. I'm good. How are you? Are you excited? I'm excited. Because I'm excited. Me too. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And inside the box is Jen. Hello, Jen. Hello, Sam. How are you? I'm excellent. Now, like I said, guys, two minutes to guess the name of a TV show, character, or actor. Now, Jen, on that screen inside there, we've provided you with some questions. Some of them are going to lead you in the right direction. Some of them may not. You're going to be asking the guys out here the questions, and they're going to be responsible for giving you yes or no answers. But the only thing they're going to see on their monitors once the game begins is a picture of the answer. The knowledge needed to answer correctly must come from you and you alone. And it's important to answer correctly because every time you don't, you will be assessed a five-second time penalty. And in this game of ours, time is everything. Because whoever banks the most of it at the end of two rounds gets to go up against me in the winner's round for as much as $10,000. Wow. That is a mouthful, folks. So how about we play some Inside the Box? All right, Jen, I'm giving you two minutes to guess the name of a male character. I need the first and the last name, and I want the folks at home to play along. It just makes us all feel better if you do. Here we go. Start the clock. Kevin, does his show involve his work? No. Incorrect. That's a yes. Our first time penalty. Next question. Does his show debut in the 60s, John? No. Kevin, did his show debut in the 70s? Yes. Two yeses. Good work. John, does he fight injustice? No. Uh, Kevin, is he divorced? No. John, is he a father? No. Is he a grandfather, Kevin? No. John, is he a in a comedy? Yes. That's three yeah. yeses. Good work. John, um, is he a drama? That's the Kevin, actually. No. John, is he a senior citizen? No. Kevin, is he a teen? No. John, is he a child? No. Kevin, does he have brown hair? Yes. John, is he an animated or non-human? No. Uh, Kevin, is he an adult? Yes. That's five. Stop the clock. Here's your first clue. Look at that case file. He's a famous roommate. Male character. First and last name. Don't know. All right. That's time, Jen. We're going to restart that clock. Ask your next question. A minute, nine seconds left. Okay. Kevin, does he live in Boston? No. Does he live in Vegas? No. John. That's right. Kevin, does he live in Chicago? No. Uh, John, is his roommate named Janet? Yes. Uh, Kevin, is his co-star Suzanne Summers? Yes. Um, can I answer? All right, we'll stop the clock. Male character, first and last name. Oh, I don't know his last name now. Keep going, sorry. All right, that's your time penalty, five seconds. We're going to restart the clock. Ask your next question. Uh, Kevin, is he a shoe salesman? No. John, is he a DJ? No. Uh, Kevin, is he a chef? Yes. Um... Kevin, does he live that with seven? John. Sorry, John, does he live with his parents? No. Um, John, is his friend named Larry? That's the Kevin. Yes. Uh, John, is his co-star Tim Reed? No. Uh, John, is uh, he That's handsome? The Kevin. That's the Kevin. Is, is he handsome? Yes. There you go. That's five. Stop the clock. Here's your next clue. He's a bit clumsy. Oh, it's John Ritter, but I don't know his character's name. Okay, try to think of it. Um... All right, that's time. We're going to restart that clock. Ten seconds left, Jen. Ask another question. Uh, Kevin, is his friend named Venus? No. John, is his neighbor named Stanley? Yes. It's his co That's time. It was Jack Tripper. Jack Tripper. Jack Tripper played by the late, great John Ritter. You didn't get it. And that means only one thing. When we come back, we'll tabulate the scores and we'll put Kevin in. Sometimes it pays to go with the flow, to check your worries at the door, to reconnect with your crew, to follow the thrills and the flavor, to roll with it and see where it takes you, to enjoy every minute to its fullest and to dance like there's no tomorrow. You can do that here at Rivers Casino and Resorts Schenectady, where the good times flow. 
More homeowners choose Ambrose Electric for their Generac automatic standby generators. Why? See for yourself. I would highly recommend Ambrose Electric to anyone looking to purchase a generator. The service was wonderful, the install was seamless, and everyone who works for the company was totally professional, and they did a really fine job for me. Trust Ambrose Electric Standby Power, your Generac Power Pros. Join us! the stage that's how excited i am about our next game but first let me explain something to the folks at home those x's you see on your screen represent time penalties each one five seconds so that means that since john has none he's all even at zero jennifer has one because she met, took a guess and was wrong she's sitting at minus five kevin had one wrong answer he's also at minus five but kevin's inside the box all right, Kevin, you saw Jen do her thing. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Excellent. Two minutes to guess the name of a reality series. Play along at home. Everybody wins. Here we go. Start the clock. Jen, did, we, did, did the show debut in the 90s? No. John, did the show debut in the 2000s? No. Jen, did the show debut in the 80s? No. Incorrect. That is a yes, a time penalty. Jen, next question. John, has the show had multiple seasons? Yes. Jen. Does the winner get a cash prize? Yes. Good work, Kevin. John, is it mainly set indoors? Yes. One more for a clue. Jen, is it usually set in exotic locations? No. John, is it mainly, are most participants usually living under one roof? No. Jen, are participants aware they're being filmed? Yes. All right, that's five. Stop the clock, here's your first clue. Look at that case file, Kevin. Big winners of this series became big stars. Survivor? Survivor is incorrect. Those people are has-beens. Just kidding. <laughs> Restart the clock. Ask your next question, Kevin. Okay. John, is Cal Simon Cowell a judge? No. Jen, are participants judged on their dancing? Yes. John, is Ben Stein a judge? No. Incorrect. That is a yes. Your first time penalty, John. Next question. Jen, has it been hosted by Rich Little? No. John. Do teens ever compete on the show? Yes. Jen, does Sinbad appear on the show? Yes. Nice. John, is it usually an hour-long show? Yes. All right, that's another five. Stop the clock. Here's your next clue. Ed McMahon hosted this show. Star Search. Star Search is absolutely correct, my friend. Great job, Kevin. You just banked 43 seconds. How did you do it? I just kept plugging away at it. Was there a specific clue that did it for you? Yeah, the Ed McMahon clue. Ed McMahon, Ed McMahon. I love Ed McMahon. Great job, Kevin, and it means only one thing, folks. We have got to put John inside the box. All right, folks, the players have changed positions. Here is where we sit before the final game of round one. Jen has a score of minus 10. Kevin has a bank of 38 seconds. That's how much time was left when he solved this puzzle. And John is sitting at minus five, but he's also sitting inside the box. All right, John, you can make up time in there. You can lose it out here. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Excellent. Two minutes to guess the name of a series. Play along at home. Start that clock. Jen, did it debut in the 80s? Yes. Uh, Kevin, has it been made into a TV movie? Yes. Uh, Jen, is the show a drama? No. Kevin, is the show a comedy? Yes. Jen, are the main characters mostly male? No. Uh, Kevin, is the character's name in the title? No. Jen, is it mainly set in a hospital? No. Kevin, is it set in a small town? No. Jen, is it mainly in the city? Yes. Incorrect, that's a no, a time penalty. Jen, next question. Uh, Kevin, is it based on a radio show? No. Jen, are the main characters mostly teens? Yes. Kevin, does it revolve around work or a job? No. Jen, is it set mainly in the suburbs? No. That's incorrect. That is a yes, and that is five. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue. Look at that case file, John. Mr. Belding was foe and friend. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to restart the clock. John, you've got a minute eight left. Go ahead, ask another question. Uh, Jen, does Mario Lopez, Lopez play a main character? Yes. 
Is Lisa, Lisa Tuttle Turtle a character on the show? Yes. Jen, do the characters hang out at Cafe Nervosa? No. Kevin, is it set in Florida? No. Jen, is it set in California? Yes. Uh, Kevin, is the show originally aired by ABC? No. Jen, is the show originally aired on Saturday mornings? Yes. Kevin, do any of the characters talk to the camera? No. Incorrect. That is a yes, and that's your fifth one. Here's your second clue. Screech loves Lisa. What is Saved by the Bell? That is exactly right, my friend. You just banked 33 seconds. If you didn't get it when you heard Screech, you weren't going to get it at all. Great job, John. You just banked 33 seconds. That's the end of round one. When we come back, we'll have tabulated the scores, and Jen will find herself back inside the box. So join us. break we discussed the social commentary inherited in every episode of Saved by the Bell. Guess what? There wasn't any. All right, here is where we stand score-wise. We've got Kevin at 33 seconds. We've got John at 28 seconds. Jennifer is sitting at minus 20 seconds, but she's inside the box. All right, Jennifer, two minutes to guess the name of a male actor, first and last name. Sometimes it pays to go with the flow, to check your worries at the door, to reconnect with your crew, to follow the thrills and the flavor, to roll with it and see where it takes you, to enjoy every minute to its fullest, and to dance like there's no tomorrow. You can do that here at Rivers Casino and Resorts Schenectady, where the good times flow. I can get the exact same brand of contacts from 1-800-CONTACTS that I can get from my eye doctor. Right now, you can save 20% on your first order, plus fast free shipping right to your door. So, I got a DUI. Mom, Dad. Why didn't you just call someone for a ride? I wasn't thinking ahead. I didn't think I was gonna get caught. I'm sorry. Um, start the clock. Kevin, was the show... Was he a star in the show in the 80s? Yes. Was he a show in the star in the 60s, Kevin? No. Kevin, was he a star in the 70s? No. John, was he a star in the show in the 90s? Yes. All right, two yeses. Kevin, is he an adult? Yes. John, is he a child? No. Kevin, is he starred in movies? Yes. John, is he still alive? Yes. All right, that's five. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue. He was born in Vancouver, British Columbia. Male actor. All right, that's time, Jen. We're going to restart the clock. One and a half minutes left. Ask your next question. Kevin, is he in My So-Called Life? No. John, is he in Dawson's Creek? No. Kevin, is he in The 70s Show? No. John, is he in Smallville? No. Kevin, is he in Love Monkey? No. Incorrect. That is a yes and a time penalty to Kevin. Next question, Jen. John, is he started as a private investigator? No. Kevin, is he a fireman? No. John, was he started in a, as a war vet? No. Kevin, is, uh, has he started as a business owner? Yes. Incorrect. That's a no, a costly round for Kevin. Next question, Jen to John. John, uh, does he race cars? Yes. Kevin, does he marry his co-star? No. John, was he born in Hamilton, Canada? No. Kevin, is he married to a famous actress? Yes. Incorrect. That's a no. Another time penalty. Next question. John, does he marry a Playboy bunny? No. Kevin, is his 90s drama character wear sideburns? Yes. Uh, John, does his character drive a car named Mondale? Yes. I'd like to answer. Stop the clock. What is your guess? Brendan Walsh. We're looking for the actor's name. Oh, Jason Priestley. Jason Priestley is absolutely correct. You just banked 21 seconds. Great job. Jason Priestley, of course, made it okay for all of us to have mullets, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Great work. You banked 21 seconds, and now it's time to put Kevin inside the box. All right, folks, the players have changed positions. Now, I have to tell you that we had to penalize Jennifer because she did make two guesses when she stopped the clock. 
She has apologized and I've accepted and we've all moved on with our lives. Now, John is sitting with a bank of 28 seconds. Jennifer is sitting at minus four. Kevin is sitting with a bank of 18 seconds. Kevin's inside the box. All right, Kevin, two minutes to guess the name of a series. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Start the clock. Jen, did it debut in the 70s, 60s? Uh, yes. Incorrect, that is a no. John, did it debut in the 70s? No. Jen, did it debut in the 80s? Yes. John, has it been made into a movie? No. Jen, is the show a comedy? Yes. Okay, John, are the main characters all male? No. Jen, are the, male, are the main characters all female? No. John, is there a character's name in the title? No. Jen, are all of the main characters married? Uh, no. John, are any of the main characters children? Yes. Jen, does it revolve around work or a job? No. John, is it mainly set in an office? No. Jen, is it mainly set in the city? No. John, is there a city in the title? No. Jen, is it set in a fictional town or city? No. Incorrect. That is a yes. Another time penalty. A minute left. Kevin? John, did it de uh, is it set mainly in the suburbs? Yes. All right, that's wrong. Another time penalty. Next question, Kevin. Jen, is it based on a British series? No. John, is it a spin-off? No. Jen, have other shows been spun off from it? Yes. Incorrect. That is a no. A costly round for Jen. Next question, Kevin. John, have any of the actors starred in other series? Yes. That's five. Stop the clock. Here's your first clue. Look at the case file. This show is about a dad and his three daughters. All right, that's time, Kevin. We're going to restart the clock. Ask your next question. 30 seconds left. Hey, Jen, is it set in New York? No. John, is it set in California? No. Incorrect. That is a yes. Another time penalty. Next question, Kevin. Jen, did the series star Jess Sarah Jessica Parker? No. John, does the, star, does the series star Joey Lawrence? No. Incorrect. That is a yes. Very costly out here right now. Next question. Jen, is there a character named Marshall? No. That is time. The answer was give me a break. You didn't bank any time there, Kevin. Give me a break was your answer, and that means that we've got to put John inside the box. All right, folks, here is where we stand score-wise before the final game of round two. We've got Jennifer sitting at minus 19, Kevin with a bank of 18 seconds, John with a bank of 13 seconds, but John is inside the box. All right, John, your task is simple here. We're giving you two minutes to guess the name of a male character, all right? And I want you to play along at home, see if you can beat John to the punch. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Start the clock. Jen, is he bald or balding? No. Uh, Kevin, is he animated or non-human? Yes. Jen, did the series debut in the 70s? No. Kevin, Correct. did Correct. That is a yes. Next question. Uh, Kevin, is he single? Yes. Uh, Jen, is he in a drama? No. Kevin, is he in a comedy? Yes. Not too many animated dramas. Uh, <laughs> Jen, does this show revolve around family? Yes. Incorrect. That is a no. Another time penalty, Jen. Kevin, does this show re revolve around work? No. Jen, does this show revolve around crime? Uh, sorry, around? Crime. No. Kevin, does he fight injustice? No. Jen, is he married? No. Uh, Kevin, does he have dark hair? Yes. That's five. Stop the clock. Here's your first clue. His hero is the Brown Hornet. Male character. All right, that's time. We're going to restart the clock. Ask your next question. A minute 11 left. Jen, does he live in Miami? No. Uh, Kevin, does he have a catchphrase? Yes. Uh, Jen, does he live in Philadelphia? No. Incorrect. That is a yes. Another time penalty. Next question. Uh, Kevin, did this, did this series last only one season? Yes. Incorrect. That is a no. A time penalty to Kevin. Next question. Jen, is he kind? Yes. Kevin, does Herbie Hancock provide the music for the show? No. Incorrect. That is a yes. Another time penalty. Next question. Jen, is Mushmouth his friend? Uh, no. Incorrect. That is a yes. That's your fifth one. Stop the clock. Here's your next clue. Hey, hey, hey. Fat Albert. Fat Albert is absolutely correct, John. 
Great work, my friend. You just banked 35 seconds, and that means only one thing. You, my friend, are the winner of the first two rounds. Let's give it up for John, folks. Excellent work, my friend. Hey, 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 must have done it for you. And that means only one thing. When we come back, it's me and John in the winner's round for as much as $10,000 right here on Inside the Box. of rounds there can be only one winner and that is John he's with me inside the box well welcome to the winners round John how do you feel thanks Sam good good, good. all right now before you were going up against some fairly tough contestants now you're just going up against the clock is there a little bit more pressure on you yes all right here's how we play the winners round just a little bit different you're still gonna get two minutes but this time you get three guesses and three guesses only. If you burn through those, the winner's round is over. You will be going home with the minimum, which is still $500, nothing to sneeze at. I have never sneezed at $500, but that's not what you want. You want to try for as much as $10,000, all right? Sometimes it pays to go with the flow, to check your worries at the door, to reconnect with your crew, to follow the thrills and the flavor, to roll with it and see where it takes you to enjoy every minute to its fullest and to dance like there's no tomorrow. You can do that here at Rivers Casino and Resorts Schenectady, where the good times flow. The heavy-duty Wonder Mop from Libman is mean, green, and ready to clean. Its new scrub brush attachment wrangles the orneriest grime. Do your floors justice with the heavy-duty Wonder Mop and the whole crew of Libman products. Me the questions, and after five yeses, you'll get another clue. It's pretty much the same, but remember, three guesses. Savor those guesses. Here we go. Two minutes to guess the name of a female character. I need the first and the last name. Play along at home. See if you can do this better than John. Start the clock. Did her show debut in the 80s? No. Did her show, de show debut in the 70s? No. Did her show, de show debut in the 90s? Yes. Is she in a comedy? No. Is she in a drama? Yes. Is she single? No. Is she married? Yes. Is she a housewife? No. Does her show revolve around crime? No. Does her show revolve around friends? No. Does her hair color change often? No. Is her hair color other than blonde, red, or dark? No. Does she have dark hair? Yes. Does her show revolve around work or calling? Yes. That's five, here's your first clue. She was originally the youngest sister. If you don't know it, John, ask more questions, you'll get another clue. Is her love interest played by Julian McMahon? Manna. Yes. Is she played by a former star of 90210? No. Does she, is she played by a former star of Who's the Boss? Yes. Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano is an actor. That's one guess. We need a female character. Next question, you've got 56 seconds left. Does she get engaged to a warlock? No. Does she have a day job as a writer? Yes. Is she a mutant? No. Is she skilled with martial arts? Yes. Does she leave the show midway through its run? No. Is she in charm? Yes. Here's your next clue. She's not the one from Friends. Think about that clue. Now you've got 28 seconds left. If you don't know it, look at that screen again. Something may be triggered. Phoebe Case. That's not the last name I was looking for. So you've got it close. I need the last name. You've got one guest left. Look at those questions, John. They might trigger something for you. Uh, is her sister's name Piper? Yes. Uh, is she a witch? Yes. Uh, is her best friend played by David Bonnerat? Oh, it was Phoebe Hollowell. Phoebe Hollowell, you're still gonna go home with $500. You did a great job, John. How did you feel? 
good. That was a tough one. Did you have fun, though? I had a great time. Well, we had a great time having you. It was a tough one. You came really close. I want to thank you for playing inside the box. I want to thank all our contestants for playing inside the box. And I want to thank you at home for watching Inside the Box. I'm an actor in an ad reminding you that if you're high, just don't drive. The new Lipman Tornado Spin Mop. Go ahead and mop it like it's hot. High speed ringer and extra large microfiber head removes excess water for a fast clean. So fill it, spin it, and mop it like it's hot with Lipman. Learn more at Lipman.com. I'm an actor in an ad reminding you that if you're high, just don't drive. <laughs>